The metaverse doesn't exist. Yet. There's a lot of buzz around the metaverse right now, spiked by Facebook, one of the 10 largest companies on the planet, renaming its parent company Meta and claiming its stake in the space. But what exactly is a metaverse? On the ANA Marketing Futures podcast, Jason Veliket of R3 provided this excellent definition from technologist Matthew Ball. He defines the metaverse as a massively scaled, an interoperable network of real-time rendered 3D virtual worlds, which can be experienced synchronously and persistently by an effectively unlimited number of users. If we agree with Matthew's definition, and thanks for sharing, Jay, what we currently refer to as the metaverse is actually just a series of virtual open world platforms used primarily for gaming. The part of that definition that we need to focus in on is interoperable network. Without the capability to interact with each other, these platforms aren't really part of a metaverse. In fact, without that interactive capability, we can't even begin to realize the true power and potential of the metaverse. When people refer to the metaverse currently, what they're actually referring to is one of a handful of virtual open world gaming platforms like Roblox and Decentraland, where players can create avatars, play games with each other, and purchase items using Web3 technology like like NFTs, cryptocurrency, and the blockchain. But until I can take my Roblox avatar wearing my Nike Air Jordan NFTs over to Decentraland, I regret to inform you we don't have a metaverse. Oh. Sorry. There are technological advances that haven't even happened yet. Think about cloud computing, server capacity, digital 3D rendering, which experts more or less agree are all but inevitable. However, until that happens, the metaverse isn't even possible. Believe it or not, that's great news for marketers. For once, there's still time to get smart on this space, and more importantly, understand how humans interact with each other in fully virtualized environments. So, what should marketers do right now to get ready for the metaverse? Well, it depends. If you work for a small or mid-sized brand, spending a few hours playing an open world game like Minecraft or Animal Crossing while observing and taking notes how you and others behave is a great way to acclimate yourself to a space that sooner or later is going to be as integral to the marketing function as social media. Remember that last part when you're trying to sell this to your boss as a productive use of time. Bigger brands, on the other hand, can spend millions of dollars buying up virtual real estate, experimenting with what works and what doesn't in real time as these platforms evolve. However, if you're a brand like Nike with this kind of buying power, I'm begging you, please do not recreate your retail space in the metaverse. Bring something to your consumers that they can't experience in the physical world. After all, it's kind of the whole point. Until next time, I'm Mike Burbridge, and this has been the ANA Marketing Futures Podcast.